I'm Sam Malone. Filling in for my friend, Mike Gallagher. Great guy. And you know what? I'm not just saying that, but I'm a listener. Been a listener. And I love Mike. And, he's such, and I always remind y'all, for those who haven't met him yet, Mike is exactly kind of on the air as he is off the air, which is he gets to be an anomaly in many cases because he's just as friendly, just as down to earth, just as regular dude, so to speak, uh, as he is on the air. As we, we were having lunch in New York City uh, near the radio station. All right, NYC. Let's see, opening up. We've been opened up to fund the police. I Joe Biden, by the way, Joe Biden uh, was in town yesterday. They, he did not speak and will not speak at the George Floyd funeral today. Instead, uh, his people demanded, threatened, I don't know, but uh, he's not doing it. He is leaving a tape message. So it's only a matter of time before all the wheels fall off on the Biden campaign. It's just, Listen, it is what it is. He's just not capable stringing those words together. It's very serious. It's tough. Whatever he's dealing with, he's dealing with. But to pass up an opportunity to be live on camera uh, at the, the Floyd funeral today outside of Houston, south of here, and leave a recorded message, what? Uh, to not make the state Democrat convention and leave a recorded message, what? Uh, now he comes out yesterday against defund the police. Uh, on CBS, I once again, I don't live in my mom's basement uh, having her fold my underwear and make grilled cheese sandwiches. Why? Because that's the only thing she can slide on the door while I'm playing Fortnite. That's not me. Anybody who's thinking to fund the cops is a great idea. Seriously, get a mom's basement. This is what happened in Houston. Uh, this is from one of the local TV stations. I'm not making this up. When people say to fund the police, uh, do we have this audio clip? Is it there? It was there a second ago. It's not there outstanding uh there was a big gunfight outside of one of the nightclubs and the police had to surround the joint it was there a second ago that's a lie the, the cops had to literally surround the joint and get on the loudspeakers to do the old come out with your hands up and they caught i guess the bad guys came out their hands up and I'm thinking, if we didn't have police as they wanted in, in, in some of these radical cities, left-wing cities, we didn't have the cops. And there was a big gun battle in these places. Uh, pray tell, who would take care of this? Because uh, teachers ain't going to grab guns and head on in there. And fast food workers ain't going to grab guns and head on in there. You see about like 20 men come out with their hands up. Uh, I can tell you right now, TV news reporters would never break a sweat to grab a gun and go in there and square it away. So who's going to do it? Yeah, the folks we pay 30000 40000 50000 for, uh, the men and women of our police departments. Because if they're shooting at each other in a bar on the southeast side of Philadelphia, of uh, Houston, Texas, um, they kind of are already disregarding the laws. And it takes a member of law enforcement to make it happen. Go in there and square it away. It's an honor to be here. I'm Sam Malone in Houston, Texas, and I'm filling in on The Mike Gallagher Show.